Clive. Well, at least he didn't suffer. Uh, oh, he did. <laughs> oh, my. That much? Oh, well, I prefer to remember him as I last saw him, being fed apple sauce by a Jamaican woman. <laughs> Wait a reminder. We should spend as much time as possible with those we hold dear while we're able. Anyway, thank you for calling, Mother. <laughs> For a moment, I thought those high-pitched, piercing shrieks were coming from a gaggle of schoolgirls. But now I see it's just you. <laughs> I shan't be able to return to sleep now, thanks much less. Well, who do you think you are, the Earl of Grantham? You're from Wigan. It's better than being from Leitenstein. Uh, how dare you! <laughs> I've been to Oxford. Yes, for lunch. <laughs> So who were you squawking at on the phone just now? Uh, what? My mother, if you must know. Was she calling to tell you when she'd be dying? <laughs> she was very distraught. Why, did you finally tell her about us? <laughs> I'm waiting for the right time. It's been 48 years. <laughs> and there has not been a right time. <laughs> no, please don't pressure me. I'm very emotional already. We've had some frightful news. Clive is dead. Oh. Your mother is always the first to know when someone dies. Is she getting the news directly from Satan? Yes. <laughs> I would think you'd be a little more upset, considering your history. Oh, it was a long time ago. We were all in our early 20s. What, I was 19? I wasn't in my 20s. People used to think I was your nephew. Yes, because you told them you were my nephew. <laughs> Anyway, I do feel bad about Clive. I just hope he didn't suffer. Apparently, they had to cut a foot off, so I assume there was some discomfort. <laughs> I dare say those thick ankles of his put up quite a fight. <laughs> Who on earth is that? Oh, I've absolutely no idea. Are you expecting anybody? No, these aren't calling hours. Oh, this is outrageous. You just don't go about ringing people's doorbells. <laughs> this to see who it is? and then put the whole ugly business behind me. Well, I'm going to give this, this intruder a real dressing down. <clears throat> oh. oh. <laughs> no. Can we help you with something? Ash. Well, I didn't even know that was a name. <laughs> I was here to see about the flat. Is this a bad time? No, no. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> great. Yes, great. <laughs> Can I get you some tea? Uh, no, thanks. I'd just really like to see the flat. Oh, uh, you've come to the wrong door, I'm afraid. The flat, for rent, is one floor up. Oh, sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm Freddie. This is Stuart, my friend. Uh, Freddie Thornhill. <laughs> you probably recognise me from the television or stage. Do you go to the theatre often, Ash? Am I saying that correctly? <laughs> yeah. Ash, uh, I don't get to the theatre much. Uh, well, of course, you're a young man. You do young man things. <laughs> I'm quite certain I'm old enough to be your father. Yes, I'm quite certain. <laughs> My father's 46. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> you mind if I use the toilet? Mind, we'd be devastated if you didn't. <laughs> you are making such a Fool of yourself. Mm, but then you should leave. It's quite clear he hates you. <laughs> you suppose he's family? Oh, God! It's so tricky to tell now. I thought Graham Norton was straight. <laughs> well, my dear Stuart, I will work it out. After all, I did spend a year playing the detective in the mousetrap. Oh, please! Our postman's been in the mousetrap. <laughs> this is complete lunacy. It's like Victoria Station. Who's there? It's Violet, darling. Oh. I oh. came as soon as I heard. Mm. Oh, Clive. Yes, it's been a great shock, as you can imagine. We're absolutely devastated. Mm. Now, I must ask you... Anything, darling? Is Leytonstone any better than Wigan? <laughs> a bit, darling. Bollocks. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was thinking, uh, perhaps we should host a small gathering here tomorrow. No, just our little circle. Oh, that would be lovely. I can't believe he's gone. Oh. Dear sweet Clive, 
Did you hear about the foot? Uh, yes, unfortunate. Oh, damn, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Poor Freddy, you were quite close back in the day. Well, Clive was very much smitten with me, that is true. Obsessed, really. <laughs> I was young, handsome, famous. You were barely one of those things. <laughs> I'm just going to use the loo before I go out. There has to be somebody who hasn't heard about that foot. Oh, well, that's it. Well, he's still in there. Who's still in there? The young man who came to see about the flat upstairs. He's been in there ages. Go and see what's going on. No, no, I don't want to disturb him. It's very rude to disturb attractive people. <laughs> Leave him in there all day. You let a complete stranger use your loo? What if he comes out and rapes me? <laughs> Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Everything all right in there, Ash? Well, we tried. So that's it then. Well, I don't see what else we can do. Well, try calling him again. No, you try. Oh, somebody do something. I'm so frightened I'm going to be raped. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Violet, nobody wants to rape you. What an awful thing to say. Thanks very much. Oh, of course. Are everything uh, all right? Yeah, sorry, oh. just had to make a call. Ah, a call to your. Met. I see. A close mate. I guess. I see. And is this your special mate? Uh, don't know. I should probably go and see that flat now. Has anybody ever said you remind them of Zac Efron? <laughs> That's a person, right? <laughs> or is it a place? <laughs> this is our friend Violet Ash. Yes, she's our friend, and Stuart here is my friend. Uh, OK. Haven't I seen you in my yoga class? I go to yoga. I'm great fun. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, I'm certain I know you. Have you ever been to Zac Efron? <laughs> I'm covered either way now. I should probably go. Oh. It was nice meeting you all. And good luck with the flat. And I do hope that we become neighbours. And uh, you can bring round here anybody you like, boys, girls, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Nicely done, Miss Marple. <laughs> I only hope his flesh didn't rot off where you touched him. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you could see it through the milky film, the coach cataracts. <laughs> I'm going to make another pot of tea. I never know when I'm going too far, but I'm always so glad when I do. <laughs> Your mother looked well, for someone who doesn't have a heartbeat. <laughs> She always rallies for a funeral. <laughs> Do you know, Freddy, as grotesque a thought as it is, you might have been the love of Clive's life. I do believe I was. It's sad that it should take the passing of a dear friend to make me realise how special I am. <laughs> Are you wearing mascara? No. <laughs> Well, I must prepare for our guests. I want everything to be perfect. I bought two sandwiches that I can cut up into sixteenths. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. Oh, that is it. it. We are disconnecting this bell. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's Ash. You will tell me if I'm ever pronouncing that wrong. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not bothering you. Bothering us? We should give you a key. <laughs> I was just stopping by to let you know that I got the upstairs flat. Oh, goody. In fact, I'm moving in today. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> Stuart, my friend, will be so pleased. You remember him? Shrunken old gnome. <laughs> Great. I love spending time with OAPs. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not one. He is, not me. Sometimes I do pretend to be in order to get concessions at the cinema, but they don't usually believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Will you excuse me just for a moment? And do not look at my wards while I'm in the other room. I'd be very embarrassed. They're over there. <laughs> We're both very Freddy excited about the good Will you close I those curtains? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Freddy tells me the good news. You must join us for tea. Thanks. So, you never use a huge window? No. We also don't go around pulling cords in other people's flats. <laughs> go on. Uh... We're done with you for now. <laughs> Clive was smitten with me that entire summer. We had magical weather. It only rained 60 days. <laughs> And I was on tour with, um, Shakespeare, I believe. Yeah, that's right. The two of you were old school chums. <laughs> you must forgive Stuart. He was never loved as a child or as an adult. <laughs> Egg and cress sandwich, Mason? Is that what that is? I thought it was a crumb surrounded by a toothpick. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd like some of what you brought. I could always cut you a slice of nothing. <laughs> Penelope! Penelope! One more time, darling. Penelope! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I was sleeping. Sleeping? Your eyes were wide open. Oh, that's troubling. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss Clive. I do believe you broke his heart, Freddy. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I still have some of the old letters that Clive wrote to me. Oh, I have some of my old letters. We're not talking about, about your life now. <laughs> you see, I always thought Clive was so dashing. Every young man wanted to be seen on the arm of Clive Sinclair, the most eligible bachelor in London. I seem to remember a wife. Wasn't there a wife at some point? <laughs> oh, that was ages ago. And it was only for 19 years. <laughs> Clive was a true man's man. Independent, free as a bird. The children? Weren't they children? <laughs> yes, six. <laughs> Are you through interrupting or shall I hand you a microphone? Oh, what's happening? What is that? <laughs> that must be our new neighbour. The boy from the toilet? <laughs> the one who was flirting with me shamelessly. No, this is a person who exists. Did you find out if he's...? No, he's being very cagey. Ah! Oh, hope you like cakes. Oh, look! Somebody brought something. <laughs> you must meet our friends. This is Penelope and that is Mason. And you remember our friend Violet? From Zac Efron, remember? <laughs> You're all dressed in black. Is... Is everything all right? Oh, didn't we tell you? This is more of a tea slash wake. Oh, sorry. Who died? A good friend of mine. He was very dear to all of us. Well, can I get anybody another sandwich? Yes, I'd like ten more, please. I'm hoping to smush them all together to create a bite. <laughs> were you good friends? We were, a long time ago. You know... Why don't I read out one of Clive's old letters? Wouldn't that be lovely? Not unless you read it in another room. Gosh, would you prefer to sit on my lap? <laughs> I have very strong bones. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's one that hasn't been opened. My one and only. Oh. I can't imagine my life without you. What a kind, generous man you are. If I only knew you felt the same, I would leave everything behind to start anew with you. Just say yes. Always Clive. He really loved you. No, he didn't. What are you talking about? And you've got lipstick all over your teeth. <laughs> Look at the envelope. It's addressed to Stuart. Stuart? <laughs> I dozed off again. Uh, what did I miss? But it is preposterous. Why would Clive have been interested in Stuart? But he says right here, because I was kind and generous and handsome. It says kind and generous. You added handsome. <laughs> but I don't understand. I never even received this letter. It must have got mixed in with all my fan mail. You have one fan. <laughs> who writes a lot of letters. <laughs> 
Well, it doesn't matter now. Anyway, that was 50 years ago. Don't you understand? I could have had a completely different life if I'd seen the letter. Not this hell I've been trapped in. You've been in hell? I've provided you with everything you could ever want since the moment we met. You were pulling pints in a pub. I was the manager. And I was going to be a model. Uh, you were never <laughs> going to be a model. No, not with you sucking the life out of me. You know, I aged five years just sharing a taxi with you that night. <laughs> Is that why you look a thousand? Oh, uh, you're practically melting onto the rug. Ow! Should I go? Why? A bit ridiculous. Of course not. <laughs> it's all right, darling. Sit. Your hand is really high up on my thigh. <laughs> is it? <laughs> well, I don't see what the problem is. It's not as if Clive was any great prize. He had children. He was married. Wasn't there a second wife, too? <laughs> Ash, why don't you pour yourself a cup of tea instead of sitting there like a statue? I'm sorry, I, I'm not quite sure how to behave. Have you never been a guest before? <laughs> you must engage in the conversation. Maybe he's shy. Are you shy, darling? <laughs> Is that it? Because you are behaving oddly. <laughs> it's empty. Oh, there's a fresh pot in the kitchen. I'll get it. I'll get it. I, uh, oh. Is it something we're doing? <laughs> Is it us? No, it's definitely him. They have no manners nowadays. Exactly. Interact. Ask questions. Well, Chinese people are very quiet. <laughs> It's not Chinese! I don't mean to alarm you, but I think there's something wrong with your dog. Balthazar! Why, what's he doing? He's just lying there. I think he's unconscious. Oh, no, he's only sleeping. But I stepped on him and he didn't move. <laughs> he's 20, you yeah. see. And yet still younger than the biscuits. <laughs> I didn't think dogs lived that long. Oh, he's more of a doorstopper at this point. <laughs> you see, you would never have had as I heard you been with Clive instead of Freddy, or any of the others. <laughs> That's a lot of dogs. We went through several of them very quickly. This used to be a bus route. <laughs> you see, I just wish I could have had the chance to have known what that life could have been. And do you really think you could have had a better life without me? Yes, I could have been happy and successful. Instead of being stuck with you in this penitentiary. And what about me? Do you think I've been happy with you simpering around this flat, pouring your blandness onto every surface? I don't know what would be preferable at this point, if you woke up dead or I did. I know which I'd prefer. <laughs> Let me tell you what would have happened to you, Stuart. You would have ended up the same worthless prat you are today. Your accent just came out. <laughs> eh? <laughs> His accent just came out, you all heard it! No, it most certainly didn't. Well, at least I'm not from Leitenstein. <laughs> Wigan's worse. I'm from Wigan. This isn't the time to contribute, darling. <laughs> uh, what exactly have you done with your life? Bit parts in rep and one episode of Doctor Who? What an illustrious career to look back on! Well, at least I've had a career, and I'm still at it. I'm still working. You've had nothing. You've you done nothing! I think I hear the talk. <laughs> oh! <laughs> is this over yet, then, Freddy? <laughs> no, it is not. Clive would have loved this. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure, really. <laughs> what actually is this? Mm. I also killed a prostitute on Coronation Street. <laughs> Among others. Other prostitutes? At the show, you're becoming very annoying. Is he going to be all right? It's good, of course. Well, you know what it can be like with certain friends. I guess. Do you have a very close friend, Ash? Not now, no. Ah, I see. But in the past, you have been in a relationship with another person. I have. But I've never been in love. Ah, you're young. You'll meet that special someone. I suppose. I should really go. Please tell Stuart I said thank you. Of course. And I hope you've had fun. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe learned a little bit about social graces as well. Has he been here this whole time? 
Oh, and by the way, I'm straight. <laughs> well, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> You're up late. <laughs> and I was just going to pour myself a drink. Care for one? <laughs> Fine, don't answer. I preferred it. <clears throat> you behaved abominably today. She speaks. <laughs> <laughs> don't let's do this now. I'm so tired. Entertaining is exhausting. Oh, I suppose I'm not tired because I do nothing. I did nothing. I am nothing. Are you still going on about that? Will you just forget about it, please? I can never forget it. You said some very hurtful things which you can never take back. I don't see how we can ever get over this. Stuart, I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> What on earth is... Is that someone calling? But this oh. lunacy. Hello. Oh, oh hello, Mother. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm still awake. I'm here with my uh, flatmate. Try sex, Stuart. He says, hello, Mrs Bixby. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, how dreadful. <laughs> when? Poor Oliver. Another one. Shit! 